three, I want to keep going, practicing the pen tool and getting you guys to get so familiar with it that you guys can crank stuff out quickly. Here's the source image. Again, I file, place the source image, and I get that image and I put it on its own layer, double click, name it here, say OK to it. If you'd like, you can actually dim it here, 75% perhaps, so it doesn't get too light for you, but it lightens it up before and after. And lock it, create a new layer, that's what I named art, and then command spacebar, I'm gonna zoom in on the one here, pen tool. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Okay, so you can do it this way. There's the, the white, I need to get rid of that so it doesn't fill in between. You can do it that way, but couldn't you do it a lot more effectively, Alt key or Option key? Couldn't you do it a lot more effectively if you just looked at that as one big curve? And then you would be able to do it in this regard. Let me change it, the color. So this is your stroke also. You can make your stroke larger or smaller right here. It's also to be found up here, your stroke. Um, again, I'm not a big person to use stroke. I don't really use it. If I'm doing maps or something like that, I will use the stroke. But other than that, I'm not going to. So I just grab the red, drag it down here, and then I'm getting rid of the fill. So now I'm ready to go. Click and drag. Remember the formula, beginning of a curve, end of a curve. I can do it way over here and get this all done in two anchor points. So remember, this handle right here is only responsible for half of the arc. This handle is also responsible for half of the arc. And again, if you go to the white direct selection tool before the pen tool, you can hit the command key, grab this, which is the last tool you used, and reposition anchor points, as well as repositioning the length of your handles, okay? And so that's what I want you to do. I want you to go through here and draw this and get it done as soon as you can. Most effective way you can do it and see how many anchor points you can get away with. So I'm only at six anchor points. Down here, I'm gonna go up to, let's see if I can do nine. Oops, it didn't connect. Undo, put the pen tool and hover it until I get the slash mark. That means I can click and continue from here. Through here, over here, I can do it right here, I believe. White arrow, command key, pull this down to touch the seven. Pull this up independent of the other side. Pull this one short so that I can get it to curve to the 10 without an issue. And then go to 11, perhaps 11. There's through the 10. Command key, shorten this handle, very short. Go to 13. Holding the click on the mouse, Alt key, or the Option key in a Mac, go all the way to 17. Let's see, can I do that? Sure can. Alt key or Option key in a Mac. Spacebar, 18, 19, 20, 21. I bet I could do it. Okay, Alt key or Option key in the Mac. Beginning of a curve, end of a curve. Click and drag the Option key. 27, possibly, let's see if that works. Going for 25 and 26 here. And then shorten this handle perhaps. There we go. Alt key or Option key in the Mac. Pull this down short and direct it to the arrow, direct it to where you're going next. Come up to 29, get it to touch 28, Option key. 31, click and drag, Option key, pull it down. 34, and then command key, pull this to come in contact with this. Shorten the handles here. Maybe position this over just a smidge. Pull this handle down to get that. And that's pretty good right there. I, I can take that. Okay, that's pretty good. Space bar. Alt or uh, Option key, S curve. I can probably get all the way to 40 with this one. Command key, pull the handles. 
So 37, 38. All right, I'm going to just, there's got to be a way. <laughs> I don't like to add an anchor point if I don't need one. That's good enough. It's touching. Space bar. Long handle. I need to pull that shorter. Oopsie. I can't believe I just said that on a recording. Forgive me. Uh, all right. Option key, pull this handle and aim it at 41, 42, 43, and I think I can wrap it right there. So, Command, click and click away, and if I hit Control or Command A, Command Y to see how many anchor points did I wrap that with? So there was what? Command Y, 43 dots, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, rather than 43 clicks, I got 14 clicks. Command Y. And lastly, I want to show you brushes real quick. You got brush options right here. You can go here to your brush library, and you can go and pick uh, all kinds of different brushes. It's up to you. I go to the artistic right here, and you can choose. And I'm going to go with uh, calligraphic. And calligraphic is going to give you the option to create these types of thick and thin as if you were using some sort of a filbert paintbrush or a quill quill with a squared off head. And you can go and pick the size that you're looking for so that you get a dynamic contour. Um, you double click on this and you're supposed to be able to, let's go and try this. Hmm. Okay, that's going to be it for right now. The thing is, is that you can go in here and you can modify this. Okay, you can choose different weights. You can go and keep this and you can go and modify your anchor point size. Not your anchor point size, but your stroke weight here. And it's up to you to go and explore. But again, ultimately, we're trying to get this done with an economy of anchor points. And this is smooth and clean with 14 clicks. Let's see you do the same, okay?